Yo, what is up guys, The Mill is back with a brand new video and we're back on some more Call of Duty World War 2. So the Red Recruitment Challenge ended last week and I'm really looking forward to seeing the results. I want to see who actually joined the team. I have my eyes on some people that I know are going to join. But more importantly, I really want to see what happened with me. I really, really hope that I actually managed to get in because, you know, I, I really do think I'm good enough for the team. But of course, if I don't end up joining the team, I'm not giving up. I'm not going to stop uploading. I didn't start daily uploading because of this recruitment challenge. I started daily uploading because I like uploading. And while the Red RC is over, if you actually look in my clan tag right now, I have the Obey Recruitment Challenge clan tag in because I am now going to be going for the Obey Recruitment Challenge. With the Obey Recruitment Challenge, I'm going to be doing the same thing I did when I was going for Red. Now, I don't actually know whether or not I actually got into Red or not, but as much as I do feel really confident about this RC and I feel like I performed really, really well during it with the daily uploads of my personality, my videos were quite good. You know, I don't want to get too cocky. The results haven't actually been released yet, so I don't know if I actually joined or not. I just really fucking hope that I did. And with the Obey Recruitment Challenge, I don't really want anything to change. I want the exact same thing to happen. I just want to put out the best content I could possibly put out for you guys, and I'm not going to stop. But alongside that, I also want to focus a little bit more on clips as well, because the only thing I really focused on when going for the Red RC was uploading videos and while I'm going to keep all that up I'm going to upload the best videos I could possibly put out at the same time I want to grind a little bit more I want to make sure that I actually you know stay up a little bit more and actually take more time to hit some clips because I feel like if I'm a content creator who can make entertaining videos which I feel like I do actually make somewhat entertaining videos by saying somewhat entertaining videos it sounds like I'm not confident no I know I upload good videos of course they're going to get better over time but I'm pretty confident with my videos I think I upload pretty good content but the next move in the right direction for me is to start actually hitting clips on this game because during the red recruitment challenge I'm pretty sure I hit three clips in total and pretty much all of them were quad feeds I'm not even going to release a response I didn't even bother I didn't even bother to upload a clip response because I didn't have that many clips at all I only had like three quad feeds and that's not necessarily what I was trying to do during the RC anyway so I'm not really too bothered about the fact that I didn't hit a lot of clips it's really not that big of a deal because at the end of the day I'm a content creator I do like to snipe I do like to hit clips but I don't stress about it as much as actually making content. With content, I actually take this shit very, very seriously. If I don't upload for a day, I fall into major depression. So at the time of this video, we don't actually know who won the Red RC. So tomorrow, you're going to hear from me whether or not I make a video saying I joined Red or that I didn't win the recruitment challenge. Obviously, I would love to win the challenge and I would love to join Red as a content creator, but at the end of the day, I'm trying to prepare myself for the fact that it is a very big possibility that I might not join. And even if I don't end up winning the recruitment challenge and joining Red, at the end of the day, I need to be grateful for the fact that I even had the opportunity. And that doesn't mean that I have to give up. I'm not going to give up anytime soon. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And I could definitely join Red down the line. They probably still have their eyes on me at the end of the day. And just because I don't join Red does not mean that I would not be able to join other teams. I looked at who was following me on Twitter and a lot of people from different teams started following me. You can already tell that some of these people have their eyes on me. Mentally, I'm trying to prepare myself for the fact that I might not join Red, and that's completely okay. I have to be okay with that. I need to not let it demotivate me because at the end of the day, you're gonna have your highs and your lows. Yes, I spent a lot of time making these videos as good as I possibly could, and I'm going to continue doing that, and I did put in a lot of effort for this RC. But sometimes, your best might not be good enough at this point in time. I'm not going to give up though, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And I'm telling you, one way or another, I will join Red one day. That is my goal right now. And after I join Red, the next goal is to just grow even more past that point. As I said, I didn't start daily uploading because I wanted to join Red. I started daily uploading because this is what I love doing. And I'm not going to stop that just because I didn't join a team. Also, in case you guys didn't notice, I changed a little bit of lighting. I actually turned on my light in my room and I don't know, you guys can tell me whether or not this lighting is better because I, I think it's pretty good. I don't know. I'm looking in the face cam right now. It looks alright. One other thing that looks even better is my fucking hair. Look at me. Look at my hair. It looks so good today. I don't know what I did with it. That's a lie, actually. I do know what I did with it. This might be a little bit off topic, but today I decided to not shampoo my hair and actually just use conditioner instead. I recently found out that shampooing your hair every single day, which is what I was doing, was not actually really good for your hair, and I take a lot of pride in my hair. I want my hair to look good. It probably still looks absolutely terrible, but I try my best. And one thing that I found out is that it's really unhealthy to shampoo your hair every single day. It dries out your hair, and it just, you know, you're never really giving your hair 
hair break. And so I made a conscious effort to not use shampoo in my hair, but just use conditioner. And I'm probably going to do that tomorrow, and then the next day I'm going to shampoo my hair is the day after tomorrow. I want to start taking care of my hair a little bit more, because this is the only head of hair I have. I don't want to damage my hair, and I, you know, want to make it look as good as possible. And even after not shampooing it, it actually looks better than normal. I actually was able to use product in it without my hair being extremely dry and fragile to everything. So immediately after the first day of taking care of it, I don't know if it's a placebo. It might be a placebo. Maybe I just think it looks better. I don't know. You guys tell me. I think my hair looks a little bit better. I mean, I'm going to take my hood off just so I could show you guys. But look, look at the side. Like, my hair actually stays up now and it looks really nice. Since we're talking about my hair, I'm just going to take my hood off and just show you guys all of it. Don't come too hard now. So yeah, back onto like recruitment challenges and different teams and stuff like that. Maybe I might not join Red and that's completely fine. I have to accept that. But at the end of the day, when one door closes, another one opens. I might not join Red, but hell, I could join Obey. Another thing that I really want to put my time into is really thinking of a series that I want to make. I might not actually be able to come up with an original series, but that's fine. I just, I need to put the time into actually thinking something through. That's my weakest point right now, is not being able to come up with an original series. But I'm sure with all this time that I have on my hands, I am going to think of something. I just really need to put the thought into it. Because if I can come up with something original, that's pretty much the biggest selling factor of me actually joining a team. If I have originality, that would definitely help me. But yeah, this video wasn't really about anything specific. I just wanted to let you guys know what my plans for the future are right now because I know that the Red Recruitment Challenge has come to an end and I don't know if I'm going to join. I am really, really confident in saying that I definitely do have the potential to join, but at the same time, I need to come to the realization that that might not actually happen. But even if it doesn't, do not worry. I'm not going anywhere. I'm never going to leave YouTube. I don't want you guys to start panicking and thinking that, you know, I only daily uploaded for this recruitment challenge. Definitely not the case. And with the Obey recruitment challenge, one thing I really want to focus on is actually hitting some clips as well. Maybe I don't need to hit clips as consistently and as, you know, insane as these other people who primarily focus on sniping, but I definitely want to hold my own end up. Definitely would like to hit a couple five ons, maybe some triples, maybe a quad if I'm lucky. The only quad I have was on Modern Warfare Remaster, but man, I'd love to hit another one. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. Just a short little video to talk to you guys about a few things. I'll have my last one run up across the screen. If you haven't checked that out already, definitely make sure to check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks very much for watching. Peace out.